I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington. And this week on Face the Nation, the nation's capital is an armed fortress as America anxiously awaits the next 72 hours. With just three days to go before Wednesday's inauguration ceremony, Washington, D.C. looks more like a war zone than a setting for one of America's most cherished celebrations of democracy. Monuments, bridges, buildings, and streets surrounding the White House, the U.S. Capitol, and the National Mall are surrounded with an unprecedented amount of security. 25,000 National Guardsmen have been authorized to help local and federal law enforcement protect against threats from domestic violent extremists in the days leading up to and just after January 20th. Authorities are not taking any chances after the nightmare January 6th Capitol attack. Chilling footage shot by a New Yorker magazine reporter who happened to follow some extremists as they broke into the Capitol has just been made public. That day has had dramatic repercussions about the disastrous security response, lack of communication between law enforcement agencies and the President Trump, who was impeached again by the House, this time for inciting an insurrection. Yes. Incoming President Joe Biden is already looking ahead to the overwhelming challenges he faces fixing a battered economy, restoring our reputation around the world, and repairing the deep racial and cultural divisions within America. But his first priority, according to our CBS News poll, taking aggressive action to help bring the COVID-19 pandemic to an end. We'll talk with President-elect Biden's pick for the CDC, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, and former FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb. Leave. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff, West Virginia Republican Governor Jim Justice, and St. Paul, Minnesota Mayor Melvin Carter will also be with us. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.